Jess, your cars in here, they range from bone stock to kind of this, this looks like it's at the far end of the semi-custom or whatever. Yeah, this um, is almost radical. So. Oh, tell us about this car. Yeah, it's a 39 Chev. It's got chop top, suicide doors. The hood used to be butterfly, now it's a single piece goes up. It has a Del Gary chassis under it, Toyota headlights, Lexus taillights, hand-built grille. Obviously, you're, you don't have to be a purist all the time as far as like some of your uh, 50s, uh, your Tri-5s in here, they look pretty original, but what makes it, what makes you decide it, I want this one bone stock and I want this one a mild custom or what, what, what makes the decision for you? Well, mainly I don't do any on bone stock. The Corvette to our side over here is stock, but most of them I'd rather modify them a little mm -hmm. bit because I like to taste better and you drive them better, mm -hmm. and more comfortable to drive. And, stuff like that. Uh -huh. so. Have you run into a situation where a purist comes along and, well, how could you have done this to a perfectly oh, yeah. good 39 Chev? Oh, yeah. yeah. And what do you tell them? Well, they better do their own. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have a Chevelle that the guy just can't believe that I modified it, you know. Uh -huh. so. so what's the running gear on this? What's getting okay, this Okay, this here has a Ramjet Chevrolet 350 in mm -hmm. it with a 700R4 transmission and a 9-inch Ford rear end. Mm -hmm. And it's fuel injected, and it's got a neat motor cover build over it, and stuff uh, like that. Uh, so, why are three fifty so popular, and why are nine inch Ford rear ends so popular? They're both inexpensive, and they're both durable. Uh huh. You know, they're partner bulletproof. So, the performance on this is everything it needs to be. Yeah, pretty much so. For an older guy like me, maybe uh, a young kid, you might want a lot more than this has got, but. For me, it runs really nice. So. Uh, and the engine looks good, too. That's yep. a good-looking rig in there. What is it about the car? I mean, you're well-known in the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast and the car community. What is it about these cars? Why are we just nuts over these cars? How come we're not out, you know, dedicating our life to golf or, or quilting or square dancing? What, what is it, do you think? <laughs> well, I think it's a pure passion, you know. I mean, you just love the old cars and you meet so many neat people with them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just something I just love. You yeah. know, so. Car shows are a place where I have to remind myself to look at the cars because the people are so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Then my wife accuses me, especially on something like this. Right. She says, uh, you know, you like these cars because they look like women because they have these nice curves, you know, <laughs> yeah. and she may be right.